What would love a dub dub motherfuckers? What is going on everyone? It is I. Everyone's favorite jack of all trades. With the fire on mouth. Coming to Urban. Welcome back to another awesome fucking video guys. I greatly do appreciate it. And um, before I dive into this bitch. I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. My viewers and my subscribers. For sticking around watching this shit. The reason why I fucking do it is for all you guys. So yeah. And let's try to get to a thousand subscribers guys. Come on we're so fucking close. Just so fucking close. And while we get to a thousand subscribers, let's try to hit two thousand fucking subscribers. That'd be fucking amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, this is going to be the last part of our build of this model, which is going to be part 11 of the build of Revell's one, the 426 scale model of the legendary USS Arizona Pacific Fleet Battleship Memorial to the Tragedy of Pearl Harbor. Now, in part 10 of the build, we basically assembled the ship. We took all the sections that we made and like you know the sub assemblies and had all finished up and shit and put those damn sections of it together and basically built the whole fucking ship up. Now today we're going to be finally finishing the ship completely up. In this video we're going to be dealing with the painting of the ship's stand, display stand thing, whatever the fuck they are. We're going to talk about how we finished painting and detailing the planes and where I, where I came up with how they look. We're going to also be dealing with the rigging of the ship and the flags, as well as some of the touch-up paint that had to go on to her. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and dive in and dive in fuck this bitch. So, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, the instructions are right here. We're going to be talking about first the ship's display stands, which are parts number four, which are two of them here. And here, of course, you glue them to the ship, but I'm not going to fucking glue them. Anyway, I know I needed the paint these things because they were just a really blah, you know, that dull gray plastic that the model was painted in. So, boom. I painted them up in this real nice metallic -y, you know, gunmetal gray, which is the same gunmetal gray that I used for the decks and stuff of the ship, which was made by Vallejo. Well, you can tell it's got a real nice fucking sheen and shit to it, don't it? Anyway, yeah, you see right there, Revell, 1959, but Frankie Day told me this was a 1958 issue kit. As you can see, there's the the drab, dreary gray color, and then there is the color now. It took about between six to eight coats of paint to paint these bastards, so. And pretty much once they're done, they'll sit roughly like that for the model to sit on. So anyway, without any other further ado, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the planes, which there's not too much to them, they're just literally two parts, 17 and 18, and there are two of them that go here like that. One went on top of the... Um, catapult that was on top of turret 3 and of course the other little fucker went on the catapult that was on the stern of the ship but let's go ahead and take a look at the basically the completed Arizona sitting on top of the battleship Arizona book and you can see she is fucking complete but we're going to look at these planes, and as you can tell, the planes have a lot of color to them. Lots and lots of fucking color and shit to them. Anyway. There we go. Much better. See, the tops of the wings are yellow. The fuselages are silver, the lower wings are gray, the, the rear tail fin wings are gray, the fin is red, the engine area is black, and the props are wood color, and of course the float is also silver. And the reason why 
And is this color is because of a um, thing I learned on line. It was actually on an online thing. It was a modeling form that was on Reddit of all fucking places where I found this information out. Because I had been using, like I said, the Battleship Arizona book. And there's a picture of some of those planes at the time of President Hoover's visit to the battleship. As you can see, there they are right there. You can tell that the floats and the fuselages of the planes are like a aluminum color. And you can tell that the fins, the lower fins are a dark or a gray color, and of course the upper fins. And of course, you can see the planes back there. But it was actually it was on a modeling form that was on Reddit. And this guy said that the planes at this time in the Navy were painted like this. And of course, if you're wondering about the little things on top of them, the markings, I painted those on myself. And they're the blue circles. I guess that's what you'd call them. The fucking blue circles or whatever you call them. I don't fucking know. Yeah. The little blue circles with the white stars and the red dots. Those were painted on there. I did that myself. And there is a decal that is on the underside of the wing. You can see it says Navy. That one fucking has it too. But once I got them planes all detailed and painted and shit, that took, I literally took back two hours to do the research and paint those fucking planes and get them done. And if you're wondering about the red tail fin, because Arizona was a battleship from Battleship Division 1, the color for Battleship Division 1 was red. So the tail fins of these float planes are red as well. That's how they were marked. So that's the two ship's uh, float planes. They're fucking done. And of course, the next thing I did was the ship's rigging. And that was pretty complexing. That was probably about another couple hours worth of work right there, too. And if you look at the fucking instructions for the optional rigging, it actually tells, it kind of shows you some detailed view of the basic rigging. But there's a little bit better rigging diagram for this ship inside this book, Battleship Arizona Illustrated History. I actually even used this painting of her on the front cover to do a lot of the rigging with. And also there is a really nice blue like drawing of her inside here. And I used that as well to help with the rigging, which all the rigging is is just common black thread, which works really fucking nice for rigging. I think it works really nice and looks good. And then finally I added the um, the ship's flags and I added a few flags and I didn't go crazy with flags because I wanted to kind of keep it simple. I put an American flag on yeah I put an American flag on the stern of the ship. That only would have been like that when the ship was in port. When the ship was out at sea, the American flag flew from the main mast as seen here. And of course, on the forward mast, there are signal flags. And there's actually a meaning to these flags, which if you've seen my um, fucking 1600 scale SS United States build, I explained this. But they mean like different layers of the alphabet. So right here we have Alpha. Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and if you can see, uh, the flags are cut out, Papa and Hotel. Well, there's a reason why I only use those two. They're the letters P and H. Papa is the one on top, Hotel is the one on the bottom. P and H. Now you can probably think, why the fuck did you use those two only? Well, 
Well, I'll give you a clue. Yep, that's why. Because the P. Yeah, because the P and the H that I flew on the on the signal Howland and shit on this model represents for Pearl Harbor. Since Arizona was in Pearl Harbor today that she was destroyed, I figured it'd be a nice little, kind of a small way of, you know, doing a tribute to the ship and her men and also to, you know, the tragedy that it befell at Pearl Harbor. And of course, after I got all that done, I just basically went around the ship and touched up all any paint that needed to be touched up. And after that, she basically was finished. So, yeah, guys, that's it. She's basically, she's fucking finished. So there you have it. That is the 1 to 426 scale model of the USS Arizona. She's complete now. I think she looks really fucking amazing, honestly. That's just me, though. So, yeah. Anyway. Thank you for watching this last segment of the build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you did learn something. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave them in the fucking comment section below, and I'll get back with you. And if you're new to the channel like the shit I do, hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit that damn notification bell. Like I said, let's get to 1,000 subscribers. And um, you know, if we do pass that, it'd be awesome we get to 2,000. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Like I said, I enjoy fucking doing it. I, I will be doing an end-of-build review of this kit. So I will show you the model in more detail and talk more about the kit and stuff. And basically, you know, give, give you my thoughts and feelings about how I feel about it. And so there you have it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So, anyway, and until next time, guys, this is Commodore Urban. Saying that smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you all. Take care. Stay safe. Be yourselves and just, um, yeah. Jesus and the good Lord love y'all very much. And I'll catch you on a warm trade wind where hell anyone knows. And let's go, Brandon. Fuck Joe Biden. And Trump 2024, baby. Yeah.